Hey folks, how's it all going? Welcome back an Old Man and the Land of Grills. We already got one fired up, huh? How about that? So you, you saw the description, we're gonna power through a uh, chuck roast. We got this massive chuck roast that I found yesterday on sale. And uh, I said, oh man, that's gonna take a while to cook. So I wanted something with some decent, that's gonna give us some decent smoke at higher temps and something that uh, I'll be able to control the temp on. And the Master Bill 560 gravity feed is uh, definitely, I uh, just got it fired up. You can see, uh, I'm gonna start at 225, Right now, 128 coming up real quick. If you're wondering what I'm using for fuel, folks, if you like charcoal and you can find this B&B competition oak, huh, burns hotter, longer, cleaner. This stuff is the bomb. It's, uh, it works very, very well. Plus, I've got a couple pieces of hickory in, in that charcoal hopper there. And we're going to tell you what, let's go take a look at that chuck roast and then get around the grill. All right, there's that massive chuck roast. When I saw that yesterday, I was like, okay, that's coming home with me. So I did a dry brine on this all night, uh, just coarse, coarse salt, and just let it sit in the refrigerator just like this all night. And that's how it's gonna go on the grill. And I am gonna spray this down with water about eh, every hour. Just, uh, you know, remember, uh, smoke sticks to wet meat. So let's get around the grill. After about an hour, folks, uh, my smoke rolling out of here. Uh, nice and clean. I did uh, go different on the temp. I decided to go up to two, 250. Uh, the master build is awesome at doing 250 and giving plenty of smoke. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, so we got some nice smoke out of there. We got a little color going on already. Uh, we did put our temp probe in and see where we're at here. Our internal right now is 76. So we'll um, keep on going. Give you a couple looks. All right, folks, for a little over three hours. I went for a walk, so I'm always paranoid about that. So I set it down to 225. 225 on the controller. 225 right there. This is amazing how this thing dials itself in. Take a look at the internal here. And we're 147. Uh, my, my plan all the way along was to do this four hours in smoke and then to cover it and uh, then uh, do whatever it takes. Hopefully less than four, four minutes to get it up to about 210-ish internal. And uh, let's take a quick look here. Oh, yeah, nice looking color on there. Looking pretty nice. I'm gonna give that a little spritz with water. Folks, I've been thinking about doing this a lot like a brisket and slicing it instead of trying to pull it. I always tell people, you know, uh, if you wanna practice for a brisket, use a chuck roast. And this one was only 11 bucks, so it's good practice. So I think we will try slicing this up and see if we, you know, if it's anywhere near to being like a brisket. So. Stay tuned for this, this is still going real good, and uh, I'll give you a look-see once we get her covered up. All right, folks, the plan all the way along was at four hours, regardless of the internal temperature. We're gonna pull it and wrap it. Got some taters there, our internal right now is 152. And we're gonna pull, pull this on, I mean, nice smoke. Look at the color on that thing, it looks, looks really nice. So we are going to leave the probe in, and then we're gonna take Take some Dr. Pepper. And I got some taters in there. I'm gonna pour my Dr. Pepper over. Oh, that's about eight ounces. And then we're just gonna, and then we're gonna cover it up and uh, get it nice and covered up there with the uh, probe. Put it back in, and away we'll go. All right, four hours into it, that's our charcoal consumption. That was about full when we started, so I'll get the cover back up. And we're gonna bump that temperature up to 325. All right, folks, a little over five hours in. All we're gonna look at is the temp here. 193, getting close. So that's, wow, 193, really? We might have to double check that, but we're gonna take it up to about 210-ish, and then we're gonna pull it and uh, see what it looks like then. All right, folks, there's our final product. It was about six hours. Yeah, it was six hours. And then we had it out, and we just uh, we let it sit. Uh, I had it covered in a towel for about a, it was about an hour. Got my nice knife here that one of my viewers, Angus, made. Thank you very much. Let's see, uh, let's see what we can do here. Oh, man, look at that smoke ring. Even go another one here. Potatoes are just awesome. It's pretty thin right there. Let's let's take a look, shall we? Look at that smoke ring. Oh, 
pull apart. You know, is it kind of like brisket? You know, what do you want? Oh, you're supposed to put it on a knife, I think. Yeah, the bend test. Bend's pretty good. Pull test. Well, you can see how juicy it is. Pulls right apart. You know I want to take a taste test. Mmm. Uh -uh -uh. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. Folks, <laughs> that's that's a cheap, cheap brisket right there. And I know it's Chuck Roast and everybody's going to argue about that, saying, well, that's not, that's not a brisket. Well, I'll tell you what, price of brisket, brisket's hard to find these days. Find yourself a Chuck Roast. It's delicious. Tom Horseman on YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, appreciate you watching. Thanks, folks.